Okay, so I was part of the National Fire Incident Management Team, and we got called up, and I was actually in Cave Junction, and so we packed our uh, red bags like we normally do for a fire, and boogie to Redmond, Oregon, where they chartered a flight directly to uh, New Jersey to the airport. And from New Jersey, they drove us in a van into New York City. Actually, we were about two blocks from Times Square. <laughs> By the time we got there, it was uh, midnight there, so we were pretty uh, rummy, as you say, because <laughs> we started at six in the morning from, from Grants Pass area, so. So the next day we had a team meeting and FDNY sort of lined out what our mission was and the FEMA lined out what our mission was, which was to provide logistical support to the pit site. And so we just proceeded to work with FDNY and, uh, and the New York Police Department to secure uh, a warehouse and put up buildings on the corner of the, of the pit site where our operations folks would actually supply the firefighters and police with supplies that they needed. Shovels, um, breathing apparatus, hard hats, boots, that kind of stuff. It took us about five days to get the warehouse um, sort of set up and clean. There was about three inches of dust and dirt in the warehouse. <clears throat> and Home Depot came in with uh, a whole Home Depot shelving unit and in overnight, uh, one night, they installed shelves in the whole place. And then we had uh, uh, New York Militia and National Guard, their version of National Guard, uh, came in and helped us actually physically set up the, or inventory what was in the warehouse. And so what we did was we were a clearing house for supplies for the pit site. So we would get, um, like I said, shovels, boots, hard hats, gloves, breathing masks, um, all kinds of things. We also got things that we <clears throat> came into our warehouse and we sent off to other warehouses. One of those things um, my wife was alluding to was a, a bin full of teddy bears <clears throat> with $30,000 worth of donations in it. We, we promptly sent the money one way and the teddy bears down to the other warehouse. But we had uh, things in there, uh, all kinds of things that were strange. We got 18 caskets donated and we sent those off to the funeral home for the FDNY to use for their facilities. So uh, I think it's five members of our, I think there was 36 of us, might have been 40, um, have since passed away from all the cancers that were caused by the uh, pit site at 9-11. And all 36 of us have signed up with uh, the World Trade Center Health uh, Agency. And more than several have been treated for cancers. I have a really good friend. My, <clears throat> my logistics chief is suffering from more than several kinds of cancer from that. Fortunately, I was a ways away, so um, I probably didn't consume as much of the dust and debris as everybody else.